spoke in Scorpio, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Grace cards, Nature's Whispers Oracle cards, and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty. Scorpio, let's start with Grace cards. Okay. I'm wondering if some of you are a little bit distracted right now, Scorpio. So three cards for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Three cards for Scorpio. One, we've got affection. Two more cards for Scorpio. Here we go. Okay, Scorpio. Scorpio, affection. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation, fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. 100%. 100%. And it's so important for you to treat yourself as such. To really understand, Scorpio, how divine you truly are. Because I feel like you'll treat yourself a whole lot differently if you really understand this. Okay, so peace. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind. The source of all joy and happiness. Love it. Yeah. And it's sort of like going into that observation mode as to what is really taking place. And I feel like that will also help you to see yourself clearer as well. Okay, so we also have gift. Grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it, feel worthy enough to deserve it, or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. Yeah, that's so true. That is so true. I love this. Okay, so Scorpio. First card here, affection. Two cards for Scorpio for affection. Love yourself. You are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist. See, here's the thing, Scorpio, like it's like you just don't see yourself in that light, you know. And it's kind of like everyone else around you can see this but you. One more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, let me pick this up. Okay, so the first card that jumped out here, Scorpio, is be your best self always. Yep, yep, yep. You don't need to be anyone else, Scorpio, other than you. You don't even need to try to be you because that's authentic in nature, right? It's it's naturally you. Scorpio, some of you need to get to water. You need to get um, closer to water because to water because being a you know like a, a body of water, um, not just running the tap and then you're there. Um, because you know, being the water sign that you are, I feel like this is gonna help you to rejuvenate and and actually be your best self always okay um when you'll be your best self you're allowing it's kind of like you know this is you loving yourself because you allow yourself to be your best self right um and that's part of self-love not holding back not allowing other people's judgments or what you think they might think about you or what you think about you your judgments, Scorpio, about yourself, you know, you know those judgments there, Scorpio, just wash them away in the water, let them know they're not welcome, okay, so anyway, Scorpio, two cards for be your best self always for Scorpio, please, one and two, okay, thank you for landing on the table, so grateful for that, we are the world, yeah, being your best self always is going to bring people into your life who are also their best self. 
but it's also going to bring in your people because they're going to match your vibration okay and you're going to be able to join together and the thing is that this joining together is going to ultimately change the vibration on the entire planet because if everyone stepped into their best self and their true self and fully loved themselves they wouldn't feel the need to go and sabotage themselves and do all the things that really aren't serving the greater good okay guidance yeah listening to the guidance listening to the guidance of your inner self of your heart of your higher self bringing that through right you know you are the ultimate act of creation fashioned by the hands of a divine artist because you are that scorpio that's who you are okay so fresh approach and I know I can hear some of you going, no, I'm not. But you are. Um, you know, I mean, I know it's easy for me to say that, but you have to believe it. But little things, start with a little thing, Scorpio, to love yourself. You know, just be kind with yourself, to yourself, with your thoughts even. Every time you catch yourself being nasty, change that. Okay? And don't beat yourself up over it either. Okay, so fresh approach, taking a fresh approach, yeah, definitely. See, this is going into the water again. I feel like washing away things that no longer serve you. So two cards for fresh approach for Scorpio, please. Nice. Got one. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm after. Okay, so this first card here is turning in. Turning in. Tapping into the truth of who you are, this best self of yours resides within. It's not out here, it's not over there, it's not doing this, it's not doing that. It's here, right inside, and when you tap into that, that's where you find the divineness within you, the peace, the true source of love. Not from out here, but in here. Okay, the outsider. Yeah, do you know what? I feel like this is you shutting yourself out. This is you. This is sort of like, this is like your inner child needing you to see it. Needing you to comfort it and nurture it because it's been so long since you have seen it. And when you do that, Scorpio, you're going to, you're going to begin to thrive. And that's all part of loving yourself as well. Okay. So we also have peace here. Yeah. Peace. Okay. So two cards for peace, please. When we balance silence with activity, we discover true peace of mind. The source of all joy and happiness. 100%. Yes. And that is in the silence. And where does the silence reside? within us okay so celebrate differences celebrate differences of yourself and other people because rather than compare in a negative way celebrate the differences right and i love this card because um there's this here i, I just noticed it that there was another sign that had this i don't know who it was but i noticed it in their reading and it's jumping out at me again you see here you've got the, the water's edge and it looks like a person, right? But it's the water's edge coming into the land here. It's a river and the way the river flows and it creates something. It creates something beautiful and they're both different. The earth and the water are both different, but together they're creating something beautiful. And I kind of feel like in a sense, Scorpio, this is aspects of yourself that you can work together with to create something beautiful, as well as other people, right? You can come together with other people to create something gorgeous, you know? And um, But, you know, when you, we're looking at we balance silence with activity, this is the coming together of those two things to create something beautiful. Two cards for Celebrate Differences for Scorpio, please. One more card for Celebrate Differences. That, wasn't it there it is okay yeah yeah okay so 
we have innocence here. The innocence, yes. See, the innocence of who you truly are, this inner child. These two coming together, a grasshopper and a master, to create something beautiful. You see, Scorpio, you would see yourself as the grasshopper. But in fact, you are the master. You are the master of your true life of your own own life, right? Of your true self. No one else can be that but you. So be it. Step into it. Bring it. Because the world needs it. The world needs you to be your best self always. Because you can't get any better than that. It is the best. Okay? What is stopping you from that? is this, this mind, this pollution. The words you speak about yourself, the, the, the thoughts you think about yourself, it creates pollution in the air, okay, rather than this unity, okay? So it's really the unity that we're after here, Scorpio, because it's time now. There's no more mucking around. No more humming and harring. Oh, maybe tomorrow. Oh, maybe. No, it's time now. It's urgent. This is what the world needs, is more of you. More of you standing in your power. More of you loving yourself, right? More of you getting this peace of mind, right? When we balance silence with activity, right? Celebrating the differences, we discover peace of mind, true peace of mind, the source of all joy and happiness and that's what we all ultimately want in our lives right is joy and happiness and this is how you can get it. it takes work but you can get it and you can get it beginning now okay gratitude and appreciation yes here's one way here's one way to get to this joy and and happiness be great grateful for what is around you okay be be appreciative of what you have okay see see the little things you see you see a horse you see a horse, imagine it's a unicorn. Get playful with it. Bring that inner child out to play. Do the inner child work and bring it out to play. You know, stop locking the inner child away, ignoring it all the time. Because it's not serving you. It's not helping you. And that's not loving towards yourself. Okay, so two cards for gratitude and appreciation here, please. And I'm, I feel like I'm being stern with you, Scorpio. So that you don't need to do it to yourself because man this is nothing compared to what goes on in your mind towards yourself okay but it's important for you to get the message there goes that card gone flying i don't know what it lit is it landed upside down but the first card out here is creator <sighs> yeah when we talk about the divine Right? When we talk about the divine artist, really, that is you. You are the divine. You are the creator. You're the creator of your own world. You're the creator of, of what it is that is going on for you. Is this what you want to create? Or this? It's up to you. It's, it's purely up to you. Utterly and entirely. Okay? So really, really consider that. You know, gratitude and appreciation is going to bring this. This here is not going to bring this. Okay. You want that peace, that joy, that happiness? Really consider what it is that will bring that to you. Okay. So that you can experience that. You know, this is also, you know, getting out in nature and becoming one with nature is really going to help you here, Scorpio. Because I think that that helps you thrive. And um, maybe it, there needs to be more of that in your life, okay? This is all part of loving yourself. Loving yourself can be a lot easier than um, what we think, okay? Um, it's these little things that we do, taking time to get out into nature, going to the beach, going to the lake, going to the river, um, those sorts of things, you know? So it's very important for you to make time for yourself, okay? So gift yes okay so two cards for gift for scorpio please grace is a gift from god we don't need to work hard to earn it feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it 
the gift of grace is our birthright. And that it is. And this is joy and happiness. Right? Okay, so two cards. The gift, please, for Scorpio. One more card. Scorpio, the gift. Okay, shift your energy. Yes, this is definitely needed. Okay, because in order for um, us to receive this gift, our birthright, okay, we need to clear our energy, cleanse it and shift it. And getting down to the water, getting out in nature is massively going to help you. Okay, so, well, probably going to help you massively is what I should say. My words sometimes get muddled. You probably know this by now. Two cards to shift your energy. One and two and three. Okay. And we have, yeah, letting yourself out of the cage here, Scorpio. Because, you know, doing what you're born to naturally do. This is you doing what you're naturally born to do, right? The bird is not meant to be stuck in the cage. It's not meant to be locked away. It's meant to fly. So why aren't you allowing, allowing yourself to fly, Scorpio? Really consider this. Why? Celebration. Celebrating you. Celebrating who you are. Getting people around you who have your back. Who know you. Who, who will lift you up. Who won't use you. Who won't walk all over you. Who won't use you to get what they want. And then leave you in the dust. They will walk with you along your journey as you would theirs, you know, and they will celebrate you, okay? And, yeah, these are people who won't keep you like this. But I feel like this is what you do to yourself rather than getting out and having fun. You keep yourself locked up here. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. People will think we're stupid going out in the rain, jumping in the puddles. What will people think if I can't do it? What will people think if I can't fly like they can? Best to stay here. Incorrecto mondo. Incorrecto mondo. Scorpio, shift your energy. Okay. No more of this. There's no more time for this anymore. It's time to break free. Empowerment. It's time to empower yourself. Yep. Yep. Be who you are. Okay. Not sitting in the storm anymore. Releasing yourself from that, Scorpio. Okay. So where's our cards? Here we go. So two cards for empowerment for Scorpio, please. Two cards for empowerment for Scorpio. Letting the storm wash away what is not needed anymore and moving forward. Leaving that in the storm. Yes, new, look at this. This is faith. This is this new journey, having this faith, okay? It's like taking this leap of faith, but it's sort of like, it's kind of like Scorpio, I get this sense that you want to do it, but you're like, oh, I just can't, I can't quite do it, you know, and sometimes you just have to leap, you just have to leap, it's like walking into the ocean and it's cold, and you take your time, a little bit by a little bit, it's so painful, rather than just running in and diving in and getting it over and done with, you know, it's sort of like that, right? And we have creativity and slowing down here, slowing down i feel like this is you sort of staying in your comfort zone um it's kind of like you know this card is usually advice to slow down but i feel like for you scorpio it's to stop slowing down slop slop um sorry i went to say something and then it came to me about this going into the ocean right not going in slowly the turtle was born to swim and yet it's reluctant to go to the ocean because it's been so long. 
It's been so long since the turtle allowed itself to be who it truly is. It's been so long since the bird allowed itself to be who it truly is. It's been so long since the bird flew and so long since the turtle swam. It's time for you to swim. It's time for you to fly. Yes, you can do both. Metaphorically. Well, you can swim. Fly, if you hop on an aeroplane. Yeah, you can. If you're a pilot, even better. But anyway, you know, this is creativity and this is about this creativity that isn't within you. Bringing it out. This is what you were born to do. So be, let that creativity come out because once you start, you're going to surprise yourself and you're not going to um, probably recognize who you were at this point right now. Right? Once you start that momentum going, you're going to be like, who? I can't believe that was me. Who was that? Okay, so yeah, it is time. Okay, empower yourself, Scorpio. Empower yourself. Okay, because this gift, this grace, that is the gift from God, we need to honor that. We need to receive it. Okay, so it is time. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful selves. See you. Bye-bye.